Thank you very much, Funke. It's beautiful to have flowers, and I must say that uh, flowers are very, very beautiful, of course, and it brightens the heart. It brightens the expression, it brightens the mood, it brightens emotions. Flowers have a lot of advantages, but you also have deadly flowers, <laughs> definitely. So, we'll go straight to our second talking point, and we're looking at a very extraordinary topic, a, a topic that not many Nigerians are looking into, but should be looking into. We're looking at e-business and looking at blogging. Blogging. What is blogging all about? Well, I have one of Nigeria's famous bloggers and one of Nigeria's celebrated bloggers. Uh, well, most of the bloggers that are known are probably, we have names like Bella Ninja, we have names like Linda KG. Uh, but, but this will make a hell of money from blogging. But there is one that you may have heard of or may not have heard of. Omonike Udi. Omonike. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Global Business. Well, thank you for having me, Imano. Okay. Now, let's, let's go straight. What inspired you to start blogging? Okay. Very simply, in 2008, I started blogging because I write and I wanted to expose my writing to a larger audience. So I started to experiment and find platforms online where I could do the same thing, and I discovered blogging that way in 2008, way back then. Some people may just be uh, asking, what is blogging? Everybody's asking blogging, blogging. <laughs> it's, it's a technical term. Mm -hmm. What is blogging? It's English, but it's, it's actually technical because it's, it's uh, computer-related. What okay. is blogging? Well, blogging may be a technical term for a very simple, everyday thing. Blogging is um, writing your personal thoughts, for instance, like you said, as a as a personal online diary. That's how blogging started and became very popular for that l back in the day. But right now, everybody has a blog. Companies have blogs. Um, individuals have blogs. Brands have blogs. It's become bigger than just a personal diary. It's become something that everybody can have very easily and it's free. So, I mean, you open your own page online, free of charge, given to you by Blogger or WordPress. So, that's okay, what so it's about. actually, blogging was just like telling your everyday experience. Like, why would I want to tell everybody my everyday experience? Because the internet is accessible to everyone in the world. Exactly. So why would anyone want to tell anyone about his everyday experience? Why well, would they start blogging, in fact? Okay, like some people want to chronicle and share with friends and family personal events in their lives. Like they have a new baby or they just okay. got married and they want to talk about the process of getting married. So they chronicle that in a blog. Um, for people who are, are quite private, I tend to be a bit on the private side as well. I mean, blogs are free. It's your free office online. It's like a website, but it's a very cheap version. So you want to have a brand. You want to have influence. You just open um, a new blog page, and you begin to talk. And you're talking, and people are listening to you. They're coming in from China, from Brazil, from Switzerland, people you can't meet outside your doorstep. All of a sudden, you have access and reach to them because of your blog. So... I mean, it depends on what you want to do it for. Uh, more personal than you have the Facebook and the Twitter you have right now. Yes, um, it depends on you. Again, Facebook and Twitter and blogs are about content. And if you choose to put your personal content on this platform, then it becomes personal to you. Okay. If you put content about your business, then it becomes a business platform for you. Thank you. That was where I was going to because blogging has gone from personal to business. Now people use blogging to do business. I remember I was listening to... Um, uh, one of Nigeria's famous bloggers, Linda Ikeji, and she said that uh, she used to blog and never knew that they could make money out of blogging. Mm -hmm. But now she makes millions of Naira out of blogging. How do you make money from blogging? Okay. Well, big ups to Linda. Linda has kind of made it very popular and I think that she's partly responsible. Linda, you're responsible for everybody who wants to be a blogger right now. So, um, how you make money from blogging is basically how you make money at AIT. Um, people know that you have a reach and they want to reach your market so they come to you and say please put my advert on your on TV and we and um, when you have your prime events uh, and prime programs I want to also cash in on your audience so that's what happens. Um, Alinda Ikeji has a lot of traffic on her blog or a Bella Ninja leverages on the traffic to her site to say okay I have this MTN come and advertise and reach your target market through my blog. That's one way. There are several other ways you can maximize this free 
internet space to make money. For instance, you're a small business owner or you're a single portfolio business owner and you can take your services or your products and put them online as simple as having uh, pictures of your clothes that you sell or of your services that you take. Like if you're a makeup artist or a photographer, just have pictures of what you've done before or what you're selling and people and give people access to a number to call and a way to make payments for their, their, their wares and they can go online to your site and buy. So that's one where you take your offline shop to the online market and sell to people who are gradually migrating online in Nigeria. Websites are probably more expensive than blogs, isn't it? Yes, they are. Blogs are typically free. Um, and you make money just for doing something free. Don't you think they need those people who set up blogging need to start charging for blogging? I mean, people <laughs> make money from blogging. Well, that's the same. Like, it's just like you asked. You said me, WordPress, actually. WordPress or oh. Blogger. They offer you free platforms. There are points where you, can, you, you begin to pay for some of their services. If you want to customize your name, your web domain name, you want to customize that, you have to pay. But let me ask you a question. How do you think Facebook makes money? It's free. We all go there. We go open an account. We don't pay a dime. But Facebook is making money every day that we click on Facebook and we ask our friends, come and see my baby. Oh, come see my baby. Oh, Facebook just made a millionaire. You know, so <laughs> that's how it happens. You know, these are free platforms, but they're leveraging them for advertising. Now, but if I tell everybody, go, go set up a blog, that means there'll be like thousands of blogs. And I know there are actually thousands of blogs mm -hmm. already on the internet. Right. And it's just like television stations now. But television is more, f I I it's, it's more accessible because not everybody can, uh, uh, many people may not know Nike, but because of this interview, may now go to Nike's site mm -hmm. and say, okay, I want to see Nike's blog. Right. Well, wh what is your blog, by the way? Okay, my blog is www.omonike.blogspot.com. Dot com. Right. It, it's not a money-making venture, isn't it? It's, it's not a money-making blog. I do... Okay, okay, but before I get right. before I get to like, before you get to that point, I, okay. I'm just trying to ask. Now, people may not know you, but, but since this is David, they might want to know what on the does. How do you attract people to see your blog? How do you attract people to your blog? Okay, because television, everybody knows about AIT. Everybody mm -hmm. knows about that station right. or that station, and they go to watch the stations: mm -hmm. NTA channels, ITV, DBN. People go to the stations because they have heard of them. You have heard it. They have heard it. But a blog is not as popular. Okay, I think this is the reason why a lot of people aren't very successful blogging because everybody looks at the cash and they want to go for the cash. But again, there's a question about diverting that type of mass traffic to your blog page. And it's really simple. Um, the basic of every type of marketing is word of mouth sometimes. You need to tell your friends and say to your friends, oh, I just started a blog. Oh, I have this. Go to my blog. See this on my blog. Oh, my business card. It has my blog address on it. Or you leverage on the power of volume on all the other social media platforms and go to your Facebook, leverage on your 2,000 followers on Facebook and say, oh, come to my blog. You put a link there for them to be able to go to your blog. You have a BlackBerry, you leverage the traffic in your BlackBerry, your contacts there, and you push that to your blog. And you can go extreme. You can advertise your blog on these very popular platforms that you've mentioned, like the AITs or the newspapers. Or you can launch your own brand on a bigger brand and um, get the popularity that big brand has to your own small unknown brand. So it's, it's simple, but it's, it takes a long time to, to do this type of work. It takes time for people to know your blog and to begin to go to your blog. And then it just goes from there. Now, uh, I, I was asking what's the name of your blog. You know, like Linda KG blog. You say Linda KG. You right. say Bella Ninja, Bella Ninja blog. <laughs> Why don't you have just on a Monarchy blog? Okay, um, you have www.lindaikeji.blogspot.com. Okay. Now, if, I, if she wants to become, take her name off Blogspot, which she's tried to do, but some smart Alec already went and got lindaikeji.com, thinking that this chick will blow up and let me take the .com so that she can come and pay me some millions later to claim the name. So that's, that happens. I have a .com, so just so you know out there, you can come and take my, <laughs> 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 my domain name, but... Um, you can have that as well. You pay for these things, but you can have those things done for you. Okay. Now, what kind of business can be done with your blogs? Um, you can 
first of all, your blog is a good platform to promote your brand as a person. If you're an individual brand, you can actually go and have your blog page and it will be your online CV of accomplishments and all the things that you have done. So when someone calls you and says, oh, I would like you to, I would like you to do this and that, you can say, well, I have my references on my blog. I've got pictures on my blog of what I've done in the past. I've got videos. I've got um, text of what I've done in the past. And this is my CV. So you can leverage that to push and promote your personal brand like i said before you can also merchandise you can sell your merchandise online you can also advertise which is what the big names that you've called are doing and leveraging on big time you can build your own client base up to that level and also advertise to a target market these are all ways um another popular thing that people are doing nowadays is to turn their blog into a book so you have a blog and you've got really tidy articles and very interesting stories mm -hmm. you can collect those over the period of time and then turn all of that into a book and sell this book and make some money so it's a very interesting way of testing your book like a pilot test of your book to see how audiences will receive your work and then you see that the reception is good then you go out and you publish everything into a book and you make some money from that now we're moving the central bank has been preaching cashless Cash light. They say right. we shouldn't call it cashless again. It's okay. cash light society where we use less cash. Okay. And we are talking of e-business, internet-based blogging. How can business people leverage on blogging to promote the cash light society or promote cash light? Okay. Well, we're here we're talking about e-commerce really. Yeah. And you're talking about the dot-com businesses that are beginning to take on in Nigeria. You're looking at Iroko. TV.com, who is selling um, Nollywood movies and streaming them online so that you can watch them. You're looking at um, the D Deal Day. You know, this is an, a, an, a dot com business that sells um, material merchandise online. You're looking at Jumia. You're looking at Conga.com. These are all dot com e commerce businesses that are running solely as internet based businesses. Now, you don't need to go out and withdraw a wad of cash and go across to a store anymore to buy something. You can actually sit down in the comfort of your office and take your iPad or your computer or your mobile smartphone and go to one of these sites and pick something that you want to buy and they give you um, an e-wallet that you have funded in the past and you can buy these things. The money is deducted from your e-wallet and you have these things delivered to your home. So this is... That's the business made easy. That is business made so so easy of course it's tempting you have you can buy every sort of thing on on the internet without thinking too much about it and then you can I guess you don't, you're not holding <laughs> the physical cash so you don't even know how much you're spending no you don't know how much you're spending and then you can come home and feel bad afterwards but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's business made easy Thank you very much, Amonike, for coming on Global Business. And uh, thank you for sharing us with on this day that we have our awards. We are celebrating, of course, today on Global Business because we got the award for Project Management Ambassadors, oh. not only as an institution, AIT, but also as a program, Global Business. Well, congratulations on your award. I wish you many more awards to come. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, uh, Amonike. We've been you. talking to Amonike OD, who is a blogger. And... Uh, She's looking at blogging for money, and it's really business made easy. And of course, cash gotten easy. It's been wonderful doing business with you this Wednesday. Let's do business again next Wednesday. I am in Mewari Global Business wraps it up right now. Have a great week. <laughs>